Hi, this is Ronan from Cable Guys with a quick guide to using MIDI Shaper to modulate plugin instruments and effects in Ableton Live via MIDI Learn. Let's start with an instrument. First, we need to set up two MIDI tracks in Live, one to host MIDI Shaper and the other to host the instrument, which in this case is Curve 2. The instrument track needs to receive MIDI data from the MIDI Shaper track, so set the top MIDI from field to the MIDI Shaper track and the bottom MIDI from field to the MIDI Shaper plugin. Switch the monitor function to IN to complete the routing. Now Curve 2 only receives input from the MIDI Shaper track, so the notes used to trigger it need to come from there rather than its own track. With the routing set up, we can immediately get MIDI Shaper modulating pitch, mod wheel and aftertouch by increasing the modulation amounts of its four sources in the matrix. Here we have the LFO in Source 1 modulating the pitch with Waveform 1. The other five columns in the matrix can each be set to output any MIDI CC you like, and MIDI Shaper makes it easy to assign these to any plugin instrument or effect that features MIDI Learn. How plugins handle MIDI Learn varies wildly, so check your manual for details. In Curve 2, selecting Show MIDI Learn from the top right menu activates MIDI Learn mode, and clicking a knob readies it for MIDI CC assignment. We'll go for the filter cutoff. Send your CC of choice from MIDI Shaper to the instrument for MIDI learning by selecting it from the menu at the top of one of the five assignable columns in the matrix, then raising the modulation depth of any active source in that column. Instantly, the assignment is made and the selected control is modulated. To avoid signal confusion when MIDI Shaper is already outputting one or more CCs, select your new MIDI CC from MIDI Shaper's Teach menu. That CC will then output constantly, overriding all other outgoing CCs for the purposes of assignment until Teach is turned off again. Once you've made your MIDI assignments, remember to deactivate the instrument's MIDI Learn function. The process of assigning CCs to a MIDI-enabled effects plugin is the same as for an instrument, but with the extra step of creating a dummy MIDI pass-through track in between MIDI Shaper and the track hosting the target effect. This should be set to take input from MIDI Shaper in the MIDI From fields and output to the effect in the MIDI To fields. I'm going to go to the next one. 